the beautiful yet melancholy tones of a violin. On the back of this one is painted a lone pine tree. It's a story that goes back to the 2011 tsunami that devastated the Tohoku coast. When the waters retreated from Rikuzen Takata, a single pine tree still stood among the wreckage and debris. The locals named it the Miracle Pine. This violin was crafted from wood recovered from the tsunami debris and one small twig from the Miracle Pine itself. Its maker called it the Tsunami Violin. That maker is Nakazawa Muneyuki. Nakazawa is a specialist violin repairer. Every day the news programs would show this pine tree standing there all alone in the mountain of debris. Then, one evening, as we watched, my wife slowly began to weep. Nakazawa's wife Kimiko is a professional violinist. Seeing the images of the tsunami aftermath made me think of all the families whose memories had been washed away, along with the town and its other trees. The idea came to me that we could honour those memories by making a violin from the driftwood. No one had ever done anything like this before, but Nakazawa took up the challenge. First he searched through the piles of trees and rubble, seeking wood suitable for the violin body. It wasn't easy to find quality timber in all this chaos. The wood he collected was harder than he normally used, and the work of planing and carving would be long and arduous. This small part called a sound post is the heart of a violin. It transmits the vibration of the strings into the body of the instrument to shape the sound. Nakazawa used a twig from the Miracle Pine to make his sound post. That pine tree has given encouragement and hope to so many people in the region. It kept their dreams alive. I believed that using part of the tree itself would create a special sound that might be able to touch people's hearts. A unique violin born from the wreckage left by a disaster. Ten years after the tsunami, towns along this coast are still slowly recovering. To ensure the disaster and its lessons are not forgotten, Nakazawa organizes concerts throughout Japan featuring his tsunami violin. Today they are performing for middle schoolers who were only infants at the time of the tsunami. It's amazing to think of all the memories contained in that violin. I knew the music would make me feel the suffering they experienced, but it was also inspiring. People bounce back from disaster, determined to move on with their lives. Nakazawa's project gained enthusiastic support from musicians, and over a thousand have played his violin. This is one of them, Yamauchi Tatsuya. These concerts create powerful reactions, bringing audiences to tears. I hope the project will continue for many years to ensure we never forget what happened. I'm always aware that we can never tell when or where the next disaster will strike. I hope this music we make will serve as a warning, reminding people to stay alert and ready. The Tsunami Violin inspired by a lone tree that survived disaster. 
Its music is a message for future generations. <laughs>